Nigerians must stand up for Nigeria as insecurity has made many children stateless and unwanted. This was made known by the country director, Action Aid, Ene Hobi, at a two days workshop organized by Action Aid titled A New Nigerian is Possible. The children, these are children of Nigeria. There are so many children that nobody wants in Nigeria. You remember the how many hundreds of girls that were taken to the bush that were kidnapped one time. Many of them came back with pregnancies and they have children. Those children nobody wants, but they are children of Nigeria. Let's look at what is going on in Nigeria. Governance is about the economy, the welfare, and security of people. If you are not doing that, can you stand tall? Stand upright for Nigeria. You need to stand firm. The change will start from you, and that is the movement that we're talking about. So as we reflect and talk about movement, we need to bring him on board, more activista. We have some cells now in the universities, and I hope that we'll be able to you know, uh, come a long way to train more Nigerians. Actually, over the, over the years, I've been training thousands of young people, and we are still training. Thousands of young people almost every year. We did that in Kogi, you know, Kogi State for so many years. For about six years, we were training people. And as we train, I remember that going to, and that's the example for leadership that we're talking in Nigeria. For the six years we were in Kogi State, we never saw the governor for one, one day. We were training 1,000 every year on a particular you know, skills and equipping them and making sure they have the skills, not only the skills, but equipping them and giving them startup you know, uh, um, uh, 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 things, you know, materials, and also functionalities and renting you know, shops for them. We did that, but we went to another state. We went to Nasara State, for example. I can tell you, if you tell the governor you are coming tomorrow, the governor will be there. And so we have some people who are transformational. We have some leaders who are still redundant. I want to say that, you know, actually the current uh, um, CS country strategic paper that we have is social justice to end poverty. If we don't have a people's movement, how do we talk about social justice to end poverty? With the way, the kind of callous leadership that we have, with the, the kind of primitive accumulation of wealth that we have today. People are looting the treasury dry, and we are still watching them. And people are not answering questions. If you stand on this stage, all of you in this room, if you are not doing something with it, you are a guilty one as well. And so we must be part of the movement together. Furthermore, Comrade Professor Omotoyi Olorode said that Nigeria needs their own manifesto that religion, insensitivity, or tribe should not divide Nigeria, claiming that vote buying is killing the nation, urging Nigerians to cast their vote for candidates who can change and also restructure the country economy. In addition, Professor Omotoyi charges Nigerian leader to return Nigerian public property that has been sold because it is time for Nigeria to create the Nigerian the world. The Nigerian people need to have their own manifesto. Um, as a movement of the people. Because if you look at all the people that say they want to be this and that and all, we were on the streets since we were on the streets since 1984. You know, many of the people that you see here have been put in prison by the people who are in power. And many of the people who want to be president and so on and so forth, when our children were on the street and being shot, they didn't say anything. Um, minimum wage, 30,000 naira. Almost all of them are saying now that university students have to pay to go to school. About half of the states are owing workers across the country. There's so much money in private custody, public money. And we know, we have all the reports. We are saying that the Nigerian people must write their own manifesto, which they have to confront political parties with. But they are already building crises for next year and the year after. Look at ASU. 
Asu people went on strike eight months. They are not being paid. They say they should go back. They are, um, the promises are in the next year's budget. This government would have left when the promises were mature. And the people who are coming are saying exactly the same thing as these people are saying. So there, are, there is a big crisis in town. And Nigerian people are hardworking. Our young people are there. We can change our country. We have no doubt at all. And our people should not be divided on religion. How many of the governors say, because you are Yoruba, I will pay you? Or because you are Fulani, or because you are Igbo, I will pay you 60,000 Naira minimum wage? So all of these things are there. It's only the people who can bring about change. It's only the people who can defend that change if it, ha if it happens. It won't be different. People have been buying votes from 1960. It won't be different. Why do you think they are stealing so much money? It's not, they are not just keeping the money. Look at all the money that they say people are discovering in houses and so on and in Osborne Road and all mm -hmm. that. Did you hear anything about it? They have to steal money so that they will use money power to stay in political power. So there is nothing. All this thing about corruption. As long as 1% of Nigeria can own all of Nigeria, nobody can stop corruption. Nobody. So our people must own Nigeria. They must own all the property, all the things that belong to Nigeria. We must reverse all the public property they have sold. They sold Nepal and we still don't have electricity. They are spending money on them. So all of these things are going on and our people need to talk across generations, across language groups, across religious groups. The working people must defend Nigeria. They must create the kind of Nigeria they want. However, Han Lewis Casting of Action Aid Denmark says. So as we were setting up the Global Social Movement Center, we're looking for a strong partner in Western Africa. Nigeria is the largest country in Africa. It's a very strategic place to be and you have a very, very strong history. And then we have the partnership with Action Aid Nigeria and that they said this morning, they're not afraid to be confrontational. It's the middle name actually. So they have beautiful results and they're connected to activists and human rights defenders as we can see here uh, and I think that is what it takes to also inspire the young people because that's really what it's all about to have the new generations of social movements who can stand up you have elections coming up who can believe in themselves and that can organize it's the youth leadership that we're working for